The Bimran Casket or Bimran Reliquary is a small gold reliquary for Buddhist relics that was removed from inside the stupa number no. 2 at Bimran, near Jalalabad in eastern Afghanistan. When it was found by the archaeologist Charles Masson during his work in Afghanistan between 1833 and 1838, the casket contained coins of the Indo-Scythian king Aziz II. The recent research by Robert Senior indicates Aziz II never existed and finds attributed to his reign probably should be reassigned to Aziz I. The most recent research however, 2015 attributes the coins to Indo-Scythian king Kara hosts or his son Mujatriya who minted posthumous issues in the name of Aziz The Bimran reliquary is sometimes dated based on coinage analysis to 0 to 15 CE Fussman more generally to 50 to 60 CE British Museum and sometimes much later 2nd century CE based on artistic assumptions only It is currently in the collections of the British Museum The dating of this unique piece of art has a strong bearing on the chronology of Buddhist art and the creation of the Buddha image as its advanced iconography implies that earlier forms had probably been existing for quite some time before. The casket is a small container reminiscent of the pyxis of the classical world. It was found without its lid. There is a lotus decorating the bottom. The casket features Hellenistic representations of the Buddha contraposto pose greek hymation bundle hair style wearing a mustache realistic execution surrounded by the indian deities brahma and sakra inside arched niches called hamme arcade or katya of greek or roman architecture there are altogether eight figures in high relief two identical groups of brahman buddhaindra and two devotees or bodhisattva in between and two rows of rubies from badakshan Owing to their necklaces, bracelets, and armbands, and halo, the two devotees are most probably representations of Bodhisattva. They hold their hands together in a prayerful gesture of reverence, Anjali Mudra. The casket is made in gold rupees and is very small, with a height of seven centimeters. It is considered as a masterpiece of the Greco-Buddhist art of Gandhara. The Buddha seems to walk sideways. His right forearm goes across his chest to form the abhya mudra. His left fist is clenched on his hip. The gown of the Shakyamuni Buddha is quite light compared to that of the other known representations of the Standing Buddha C Standing Buddha Tokyo National Museum tending to follow the outline of the body in a rather light way. These are probably the first two layers of monastic clothing the antarvaska and the uttarsanga without the heavier overcoat the sangti which would only go as low as the knees and be more markedly folded also his gown is folded over the right and left arm suggesting some kind of scarf like uttriya he has an abundant top knot covering the ushnisha and a simple halo surrounds his head this combination of details of the iconography posture and clothing is rare and only otherwise known in the coins of kanishka c 150 ce where they bear the inscription Shakyamuni Buddha in apparent contrast to his coins of the Buddha where he wears the heavy overcoat the posture itself is well known in the art of gandhara in sculptures of the buddha as a bodhisattva but in these cases he wears the indian princely dhoti and the royal turban the bimran casket was kept in a steel tight box with inscriptions stating that it contains some relics of the buddha when opened in the 19th century The box did not contain identifiable relics but instead some burnt pearls bead of precious and semi precious stones and the four coins of Aziz II The inscriptions on the box are Outside of lid is written With relics of the Lord donation of Shivrak Sita son of Mujwana Outside of base is written Shivrak Sita son of Mujwana's donation offered with relics of the Lord in honor of all the Buddha The archaeological find of the Aziz to coins inside the casket would suggest a date between 30 BC to 10 BC. Aziz to would have employed some Indo-Greek artists in the territories recently conquered and made the dedication to a stupa. The coins are not very worn and would therefore have been dedicated soon after their minting. Indo-Scythians are indeed known for their association with Buddhism 
as in the Mathura Lion capital. Such date would make the casket the earliest known representation of the Buddha. The latest studies, made in 2015 by Joe Cribb, consider that the coins are issues of Kara hosts or his son Vajatriya. Many characteristics of the coins of the Bimran reliquary are consistent with the coinage of Kara hosts, 10 BCE, 10 CE, a successor to Aziz II, who minted many coins in the name of Aziz II. The four coins in the Bimran casket are of the same type, tetradrachms of debased silver in the name of Aziz, in near new condition. On the obverse they show a king on a horse to the right with right hand extended, with a three-pillared dynastic mark and a circular legend in Greek. Close-up photographs by the British Museum show that the coins do bear the name of Aziz, but that they also have the three pellets symbol, which is characteristic of the coinage of Kara hosts, who also often uses the name of Aziz on his coinage. The coin type of the Bimran coins is also identical to the main coins of Kara hosts, horsemen with tyke. The name of Kara hosts has also been recently discovered on a silver Buddhist reliquary found in Shinkot in Bajor, Pakistan. This suggests that Kara hosts was keen on making Buddhist dedications similar to those of the Bimran reliquary. Stylistically, the casket, gold inlaid with precious stone, is also highly consistent with the art of the Scythians, as known for example from the Tilya Tepi archaeological site in northern Afghanistan. The Tilya Tepi treasure is also dated to the 1st century BCE and also has what could be early representations of the Buddha, such as the Tilya Tepi Buddhist coin. The Bimran casket also has some similarities with the Kanishka casket, which however is of much coarser execution and securely dated to around 127 CE. Please like, comment and subscribe our channel for more interesting videos.